Imagine you're running asynchronous tasks across multiple threads when suddenly one of them panics in a catastrophic failure. What would you do? Stop the thread and pretend nothing happened? Or maybe crush the whole process hoping nothing needed finishing and cleaning up? Or maybe try to gracefully cancel all running futures and cleanly exit? Let me show you how to do just that. Let's start with our favorite runtime, Tokyo, and launch some futures. Our futures won't do much. It will simply spawn a blocking task which will wait for one second. So let's create first in asynchronous method foo, rather function not method, and here simply let's spawn a blocking task. Okay, here's our task. It simply sleeps, nothing more. We unwrap the result because for the sake of this video, we don't care about the result in any way. At the end, let's print something. Foo, end. In, in our asynchronous main function, let's maybe spawn two asynchronous tasks using foo and join them. So, Tokyo join. Here, let's spawn foo two times and print something. In the end, what will be the result when we run it? You have full end, full end at end. Beautiful, everything works. We have a clean exit with everything we assume printed out. But what happens when something panics? Let's introduce another asynchronous method. Let's call it boom. You can guess why. Inside also let's spawn a blocking task which will sleep for a bit, shorter than our full task, and panic at the end. And here it is. Notice we are only sleeping for half a second and we panic just after that. So let's add it to our other futures. Boom. What would you expect the result to be? We can see two things happening. First, thread Tokyo runtime worker panicked at boom, which is expected, but also full end two times and end. This means we terminated a panicking thread and just went with our lives like nothing happened. This can be bad since now the state of our application may be inconsistent or in a permanent error condition. For example, what if other futures suddenly started failing? We'll get a cascade of failures, which in a worst case might keep running until someone notices something's wrong. Remember, panics are hard unrecoverable errors. If something panics, it's usually best to clean up an exit, or even hard termination if a cleanup is not possible. Pretending everything is okay is just asking for more problems. Therefore, let's see what we can do. Let's try to perform a clean shutdown when something panics. For this, let's introduce something called an abortable future. An abortable future is nothing more than a future which wraps another future but can terminate when asked to. It terminates at await points, which basically means each time we are waiting for something to happen, we have a chance to cleanly cancel the future and perform any cleanup necessary. Since we want to wrap everything up in a portable future, let's first wrap our join here. Let's introduce a variable named task and Tokyo spawn it. Nothing fancy here. We simply wrapped our join in the future, because why not? Now let's make the magic happen. Let's wrap our task in an abortable future. We use a tuple because an abortable future actually comes with something called a handle, which is used, well, to abort or cancel it. The abortable future is a part of the future scrape. Okay. So now we have our abortable future and an abort handle. What next? Next, we need to hook into the default panic handler. The first step is to get the current panic handler because we want our, our handler to call this one in the end. So we use std panic take hook. It's a box of some dynamic function. And now we set our hook panic, set hook, and here we box new, a move lambda. A panic hook takes a panic info parameter. We won't use it, we'll just simply pass it on. 
And what can we do here? Well, we have our abort handle, so let's abort. Handle, abort, and then we delegate back. Hook, info. And after all is done, what we need to do is actually call our abortable future. Call or rather await. So we await it. So let's go through the logic. We wrap our futures in one single future, or rather in a synchronous task. We wrap it again in a abortable future. We substitute the default panic hook for our own, which calls abort on our abort handle, which well terminates our abortable future. And then we call the default panic hook. In the end, we await our abortable future, so we launch everything. Okay, let's run it and see what happens. After aborting, we see end right here. It's kind of hard to see, but no longer full end. This means we cleanly canceled pending tasks and proceeded to exit. We aborted at the await point and our task was simply canceled. Everything got cleaned up. Whatever was in progress was given the chance to complete, well, or at least run to the nearest await point and then exit. This way we're bailing out when the state of the application can no longer be trusted. In the same time, we're finishing up what was started. This spawn blocking task has finished, but instead of proceeding further like nothing happened, we canceled. This is a much better way to cancel running tasks and exit the stage with dignity. Alrighty then, I hope now you know how to cancel running tasks, how to clean up when something panics in a hard way. Hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, post them down below, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.